said, right as I'm coming out the door, I got this guy right here. Like, yep. So this guy has been like blind slighted me and you know it happens floored me all right so now this guy really has has it out for me for whatever reason now i gotta do something about it all right get my own back up and i'm just trying to do my vip mission you know free money that's my goofing off but like i said right as i'm coming out the door I got this guy right here. Like, yep. So now you're on my radar. See how you like it. And I got a bunch of cops on me as well. But it's alright. You want my attention? Now you have it. And you saw the score. I haven't killed him not one time. So I don't know what his fucking deal is. So this is how you deal with griefers. Because again, they're bullies. They don't know what the fuck they're doing. So you're gonna love this shit. Get rid of the cops for a while. See how expensive it is? So he's over there planning something. Let's see, I'm just gonna go in all Halo style like Master Chief. Just run on in! Oh look, some C4. Alright, so I just run right over it. Oh, too late. Missed it. Got him, right in the back. That's one. Alright, let's continue this hunt. Go after his ass. So he's up. He's going to be planning something again. See, and I can tell by the map that he's in the bank. Alright, fine. I'll go in. You know which way I'm coming in, so... you All you got to do is shoot the door, and I'll... I guess I'll just die. Yeah. That's the mentality of the bully. Alright. Well. I know. You know that. I'm coming through this door, so... Boom. Got you again. See, be aware of your surroundings. Be like the League of Shadows. Ho! Oh, oh. Alright. And now look at that. He went passive. See? He killed me four times. And now he's playing victim. Oh, I'm getting harassed. I'm getting... No, no, look at the score. See? I recorded it. You can see the score. See, you got on my radar, I was busy doing whatever I was doing, and you kept on blindsided me, now I have time to deal with your sorry ass. And now they're like, oh, what do I do? What do I do? Well, this is what you do with the bully. You get in, your, in their face and you mock them, and you could probably do this in real life. Maybe, I don't know, don't quote me on that, you know. So yeah, just walk away, yeah, this is what you do. See? Because I'm not passive, see? See how you like that shit? See? Yeah. That's right. Just walk away. Oh, nice ride. Wow, thanks for bringing that ride out. Oh, that was 20 grand. I still got a buttload of money. See? It's like pennies. That affected me. Yeah, go drive that POS around. Oh, look at that. He is so proud of driving that. 
Yeah. Woohoo. Here. I'm going to get this little POS. But it's good on gas. Better for the environment. You know, less of a carbon print. That's important. You know. Now I'm going to go back to what I was doing. This guy wants to be passive. All right. So he should be done, right? He learned his lesson, right? He's done. He's like, I'm in passive mode. I don't want any trouble. Uh-huh. All right. Well, time for me to go do a VIP mission then. I know. It's going to get dizzy for a minute. Now let's go do this VIP stuff. And he's still in passive mode, so, you know. Right? Life's good. So you're just going to hang out and chill out. Someone's coming nearby. Incoming. All right, so we have incoming. Um, I don't have footage of the other camera. I totally forgot to do it. So I, I multitask, and I was over multitasking. But <clears throat> Mr. Passive Guy over here decided to go unpassive, and now he's coming back. For more so i'm just sit there i'm chilling i'm parked you know i'm doing my own little backup hefty is back from the grave helping me out i'm determined to keep him i guess alive or whatever what the We'll see what this guy is up to, but hopefully we'll see some footage. If not, I won't make the cut. But he's off radar, so he's planning, trying to do something. And I'm, um, I got my backup hefty bear on that top of that roof right there of the liquor building. See? Hi. So he went off radar, now he ghosts his shit. Let's see what he comes at us with. See, there's Hefty Bear watching my back. And that's what you're supposed to do. We'll take advantage of this view. When you're doing the VIP, if 
I know the VIP is on radar right now, but if the VIP moves around, they're off the radar. So you don't want to be next to him because you'll blow his cover. It's like hide and seek. So you let the VIP hide and you distract. Or if you're playing like a role playing game or something or Army of Two or Neverwinter, you're trying to get the aggro. So right now, Hefty Bear is going to be the tank and get the aggro. While the VIP, which is like the cleric or whatever you want to call it, or, you know, the weak one, and not that he's weak, but you know, you're gonna have everybody on you. It's gonna it's gonna diminish your uh, capability. Um, you keep them hidden, and if they stay alive, you all get paid. So you get to cause a war, shoot people, defend, fuck around, have fun, and make money all at the same time. Up oh, there's some explosions. Am whatever is coming after me. Let's see what he does. But this this view actually might work. See, I didn't get to see this view when I was doing it. I was, yeah. So lobbing grenades, trying to find where he is, but looks like he's in a jet. Yeah, everybody likes to use the jet. I haven't used the jet in a while. I he blew something up. I'm using that build board as cover, by the way. See. Beware your surroundings. Holy league of shadow shit thing again, which I think you've mentioned a few times. Oh, there goes our fucking view. Just bear with me. Oh, well, you can see that he did hit near the van. Didn't seem, it looks like he missed. Don't see any damage on the van. But Hefty Bear is trying to do some backup. Which he does hit like the wing and stuff and get the smoke and eventually the guy will flip out and he's going to crash. So, I don't know if we get to see that or not. His aim is just bad. Well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll, I'll say something nice. Maybe his aim isn't too bad. Maybe he's just that frustrated. But see how they go passive and they play the victim. Now they're going to come back with uh, another attempt. And he goes again. He's trying to shoot. I believe now is when his wing is clipped. He didn't stop shooting, so he's smoking a little bit. So we'll stay on it. Three minutes to go for free money. Oop, Hefty Bear's off radar. Ooh, what's he up to? And I've noticed that too. Like, it doesn't seem like a whole lot of cover. But as you can see, this little location, you know, you got to use what you, what you have around you. In this situation, at this time, is very effective. Zam, guy's not able to hit me. And now he don't know where to aim for Hefty. And it looks like we have an oppressor nearby. I don't know what they're up to. They're going to get in on this or two. Totally forgot to get foot. It's alright. I will fix it. Oh, nope. Hefty Bear got him. The guy in the presser. Hefty Bear got him. So, yep. We had two people. Yep. His wing was too well damaged and he just decided to throw it in. And fuck up his jet. So, let's see how he's going to come at me now. So, now we'll have some. I wish I had some decent footage. Yeah, shoot now. Oh, no! My backup! No! The tank! Come on, Hefty. Well, better you than than me, because you gotta keep the VIP alive, so, you know. So he's doing, he's doing his part. Even though he died, he's keeping me alive, because he took the bullet. 
like you know protecting the president or some other VIP or the duh, name of the game. <sighs> oh, oh, hefty bears in the middle. I don't know if you can see that in the map. What is that? Ah, oh, hefty got it again. Well, oh, but the VIP is still alive. I'm still alive, so that's he's doing his part. I'll have footage next time, so bear with me. Because I'm pretty sure I'll have footage next time. Alright, now he's shooting. And he decided to blow. Is that why the ammo is there? So not only did he blow himself up, but he decided to drop ammo as well. And there's Hefty Bear. My position is blown anyway, so that's okay. He can, you know, do that, and that's good. Only got like 20 seconds left anyway, so it's double down time. I still got the other guy nearby trying to do his stupid thing. And I'm not bothering anybody, so, you know. Alright, got him. Ooh, and the bounty. A little extra money for him. Oh, and he pays the CEO. Wow, extra money. Thanks. And we won. 25 grand. Boom, see? So that's 50 grand already in this little 20 30 minutes that I've been on. <laughs> There's that. I was wondering how that happened. Right on. So now that these guys are on my radar, now Hefty and I are going to go after them and see what. See how they like it. And I like this vehicle, because if you're in the back, I don't really have to worry about bullets. Oh, he died. So he went off radar and then just died, even though a hefty bear saw him. Now we got to figure out where he's at. Yeah. Or I blow myself up. I think I'm blowing myself up. All right. Oh, he's hitting us. Oh, he still wants to play. So now Hefty Bear's gonna try and shoot him down. Get him, Hefty. Before we blow up, get him. over there so let's go over there he's making the cops come on us dang it I don't want to deal with the cops I gotta deal with this mercenary oh he's coming at us again well even if you don't hit you know and you're keeping them I think I think cover fire this is what you call no, this is suppressive fire. That's what we're doing. Yes. Stay useful information for sticking around. Alright, he's going behind the building. So let's see if we can get a closer look. I'm going to go in, you know, backwards, like I said, because that back window is impenetrable, pretty much, from bullets and whatnot. Leave some landmines in case he decides to come out that way. The cops are ruining all that good stuff. Oh, Hefty Bear got him. Good job, Hefty. Good job. Now let's go back. Even though he's dead, there's one more thing you always gotta do. Because bullies only know how to use oppressors. So we gotta take that away from them. So we gotta look and find 
Where is that oppressor? Looks like Hefty Bear found it. And blow it up. So you can barely see the corner of it. So, blew up the oppressor, so now we got four minutes without it. And he just committed suicide. Look at that. So he goes after, he's shooting at us, and then when we go to fight, he goes past him, or he blows himself up. So they don't see bullies don't want a fair fight. So all that nonsense that you hear, oh, the oppressor this, the oppressor that, bullshit. They're lying because they can't defend themselves and all they know is how to go after the weak. So a lot of those people that are saying, get rid of the oppressor, they're just bullies as well. And they're trying to make it where they can be the bully and nobody else, which is a delusional, fucked up thought. I know, way too much thought in all this shit, huh? Now we're gonna go and try to find them. Oh, he airstriked himself. Good job, he's on fire. Bravo. Toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Good job, Hefty. Good job. Got him again. See? We were just doing VIP. We can't go after people. We have to go to a location and stay there. So he came to us, and I'm trying to drive that point home. <laughs> well, that's the end of this segment. <clears throat> so you see... That's how you deal with bullies and griefers and trolls, whatever you want to call it, because they're just punks. They're just, like CJ used to say from San Andreas, they're just busters. That's all they are, just a buster. So, hope you enjoyed. Leave some comments. See you guys on the next one.